Hello Pisces and welcome to your tarot forecast for June 16th through 30th, 2022. We are going to look at the positive, the good that's coming to Pisces the second half of June. So let's get right in. Spirit, what are your messages for Pisces in the positive? All right, so we have life energy. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. So Pisces, we're looking at the positive. This is such a good card for you guys the second half of June. You are being filled with life and that can come from a big beautiful blessing, something that makes you very happy, accomplishing a big goal, a dream coming true, Okay, there's something that is, I don't even want to say like bringing you back to life. Maybe some of you, that's how it will feel. It's like, this is just so good. You feel like you're being brought back to life. Um, but for others of you, this is like expanding you, all right? Filling you full, you feeling like you can do more, be more, reach higher, dream bigger than ever before. Like you're getting a big burst of energy Pisces wow let's pull some more cards and go deeper I feel a great healing for some of you okay um, others of you it's like finally finding balance peace and harmony in a relationship a situation a pattern of behavior okay Okay, so we have forest with trust your path. And summer energy, it's time to act. Okay, so um, here in the northern hemisphere, we are about to go into the summer energy. And in the Northern Hemisphere, I believe, or yeah, you guys are about to go into, um, in the Southern Hemisphere, you guys are about to go into the winter energy, right? Whether you're Northern or Southern Hemisphere, Pisces, this is a message from Spirit telling you, and look, even she is like uh, of the forest. Do you see that? She's of the forest. So that's very synchronistic for me, um, cause this is the forest card, trust your path and it's time to act. Pisces, you are going to have to move upon a lot of inspired action, a lot of intuition, the second half of June. And you're really going to just have to trust the journey because I don't think you're gonna be able to see too far in front of yourself. And so it may make you feel a little uneasy. You may feel like you're being reckless, careless, um, things like that, but with that life energy card, that is your sign from spirit that, you know, these next two weeks, you are going to have every single thing you need for your journey, and you've got to follow your intuition because something really good is coming, something good is happening here, Pisces. Like I said, some of you, it feels like a deep healing. Some of you, it feels like finally balance is restored in your life somehow, some way. But let's pull some tarot and go deeper. Nice, Pisces, you got uh, the Nine of Pentacles, the first thing out, Four of Cups, yes, see, don't miss this opportunity, Pisces, it may seem um, like reckless, um, unlike you, you don't know the outcome, like you got to think quick, but you're going to feel it intuitively and follow through because it's leading to good things, yes, see, next card out, you got to make that choice. Uh, King of Swords, some of you there may be an air sign involved, and Nine of Wands. 
Okay, Pisces, um, I'm going to read this a couple different ways. Yes, for all of you, your intuition is everything this next two weeks, okay? And here it is. There is something very, very lucrative, promising, tons of potential, abundance right here that's going to be offered to you. And you're going to have to make the choice, but you're going to have to make it quick, okay? And with uh, this Nine of Wands, this is a determination in you to follow through on your choice, like, no matter what, okay? But Spirit's saying, act upon it, Pisces, because otherwise this is going to be a missed opportunity. Some of you, this could be around, um, you know, making money. Some of you, this could be a healing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay, um, some of you, this is like where you're going to be offered something, which is going to finally bring the balance into your life, remember, everything that you need is being funneled to you, and you're being given like a, an abundance of life force energy over these next couple weeks, so <clears throat> I feel, Pisces, that you're also going to be able to accomplish 10 times more than you normally would be able to just in the day on the general Okay, you're going to um, have a lot of energy and you're going to get a lot accomplished in the next couple of weeks. And this could be at your job, your own business, in a relationship, just getting things in order in your life in general. Okay, but you're going to be very, very busy. Go, 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 go. But you're accomplishing a lot. And that's another reason why you're being given all this energy. And Spirit's saying, trust your path, trust your path, trust your path. Do anything and everything you could do right now, these next two weeks, especially when you feel that intuitive pull to follow through, um, to have a conversation. So let's pull some more tarot. It's like, don't miss this chance. Pisces, don't miss this opportunity. Um, go listen to, uh, what's the Eminem song? Um, oh, it starts out, you only get one shot, don't miss your chance. It will come to me, it will come to me. You guys probably already know what song I'm talking about. Lose Yourself, yes, there it is. Go listen to that song, Pisces. Let it um, get you fired up because there is something that is being offered to you and you might not trust it, or you might want to think on it longer, or you might be like, well, I just, I don't know, you might be inclined to push it away or turn it away, because again, it's like you've really got to trust what's being handed to you, and just follow it through, and by the end of June, there is this manifestation, and you're going to be given everything you need, right, so we have the Page of Cups, the Nine of Swords. See, yeah, you want to contemplate. And Spirit's like, there's no time for that. There's just, there's no time for it. You've got to trust your intuition. Wow, look at, see, this air energy is coming in very, very quickly towards Pisces. And then it, it turns into the uh, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so this offer, this opportunity, this healing with another person, um... It's going to come to you quite quickly, maybe even unexpectedly, Pisces, and Spirit is saying you, you won't have time to um, dwell, to, to overthink, to analyze, okay? You're just going to have to follow through with it and, and just say, okay, yes, I say yes to this Nine of Pentacles that's being offered to me. Because Spirit is saying, Pisces, if you let it pass you by, you are very much going to regret this with the Nine of Wands, I'm sorry, the Nine of Swords with the Four of Cups. And you will feel very stable, happy, secure, and strong in your choice by the end of June, okay? It is going to be the right choice. It's just going to come at you very, very quickly. And then once you decide, the energy stabilizes, okay? It, it, it's um, with the Nine of Pentacles, it's got longevity to it. It's got a lot of potential. It's reliable. It's supportive. It's steady. It's stable energy, okay? So even though it comes in very, very quickly, as you decide to accept, then it becomes stable. And... Um, I kind of feel the reason why you may be like, eh, I don't, I don't um, want this or I can't do this or I uh, don't have time.
for you, if this is like about a relationship, is because you are very busy. I just, with this Nine of Pentacles, Pisces, it's like some of you are in the grind, you're in the hustle, you're just focused on your money, on your material right now, and that's okay, or you're just very focused on, um, healing yourself, growing yourself, expanding yourself, something along those lines, and you just, you feel busy and focused, and then boom, this person or this offer comes in kind of out of nowhere very, very quickly, and you're going to be inclined to say, mm, I just don't know that I have time for this, or I have time for you at this point in my life, and Spirit is saying, accept what's being offered otherwise you will regret it trust the path because it's gonna turn into something quite good so let's pull some more tarot pisces It's like if you truly follow your heart and not your fears, follow your heart. The second half of June, you can't go wrong, Pisces. You can't. You just look very, very busy. There's that four of wands again. Nice. So this is celebration. This is coming together. This is happiness. This is what's being offered to you. Oh my gosh, you got the page of cups right next to the page of cups. Two of swords. The lovers, wow. OMGs. OMGs, Pisces. And look at what's next. Okay, yeah, so you've got a lot on you, and it's just I'm looking at the bottom of the deck. And look who's sitting there. Oh, look. <laughs> look at that. There's that King of Swords again. Hmm. Okay, so Pisces, some of you, this King of Swords, is a person and with the lover sitting there um, this is somebody that is trying to offer you something romantically this could be somebody you have a past with where they're coming in because they truly want to heal with you okay um, with these two a page of cups this is a genuine offer from somebody from their heart okay um, a romantic gesture messages um, from the heart and the soul so and this you know is the card that clarified so this offer from another person being given to you is solid is steady is real is emotionally based okay so as a, a romance whether new or somebody returning they're very, very adamant, Pisces, that they want your time, your energy, your attention. And this person may even live at a distance from you, okay? And that might be why you're second guessing, like, oh, I just don't know if I have time in my life to handle a, a long distance relationship, okay? Some of you may feel that way if that's how this pertains. It's like, oh, I just don't have time. The Spirit's saying, don't let this one pass you by, Pisces, okay? Um, and also with the world, this could represent a relationship that you know has had its ending in the past and now here you guys are coming together somehow some way um i see this person like basically coming towards you offering you um a message from the heart which is i'm very serious about you pisces i want to work this out i want to heal with you and lastly for the romance message of this um, some of you, this very well could be a brand new person that's just going to show up these last two weeks of um, June. And again, it's like you're really busy, you're really focused elsewhere, and you're trying to not get involved. And Spirit is saying, give this person a chance. Okay? Now, for the rest of you, that this is not pertaining to romance, I feel um, this is more about like your how you make your money or some thing that is very near and dear to your heart and what's being offered to you again you're very busy you got a lot already going on and you're like um inclined to be like mm, uh, no i'll pass this time and spirit's like no pisces don't pass up this opportunity and truly truly move on any sort of inspired or intuitive action and prompting that you feel Okay, because you're going to feel drawn into what's being offered to you. You're going to feel drawn in to this person if it's a, a romance coming your way. You're going to feel that, but it, it's like you're trying to um, 
not like you're trying to avoid it like I just see you like I don't have time for this I don't have time for this the spirits like make the time for this I will give you that burst of energy everything that you need to maintain the status quo but also make room for this new offer opportunity um, new person or returning person into your life and really trust the path and the process of it all right so let's pull a fortune card for Pisces Okay, so we got wish. Answer is yes. So it says, you are inclined to rule and help people. So Pisces, that's a message from spirit that your energy is very, very healing and inviting to others. All right. Your predictions have and always will be true. Yes, trust your intuition, not your fear-based thoughts, Pisces. You're, you are never wrong when you're going from the soul. You're not. And it says your advice is appreciated. So um, this person, for those of you that this involves like a, a romance, this person, if this is a healing, they're going to want to know your thoughts and your feelings about everything and what they did and how they behaved. Like they don't want you to hold back, okay? You have genius thoughts, which should be carried through. Oh my gosh, Pisces. Yes. Trust your intuition, okay? Trust it a thousand percent. And don't let this opportunity pass you by. Don't overlook this person. If this is a person, a relationship, there is a lot here, a lot more to come and to grow. And I just see you having to make this choice and your intuition knows the way, even though your mind sees the path as blocked, unclear, your heart, your soul knows the way. The green fairy, a cheeky green fairy on your behalf is appearing here to make you laugh. Oh my gosh, Pisces. This is your energy, okay? Fairy delight, fun, happiness, laughter, and spirit giving you the extra energy you need to not let this opportunity pass you by, whatever it may be. All right, so those are your messages, Pisces. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.